Hey friends, welcome to Chai and Coaching. Rob here. We're going to do a Q&A session in this video, taking advice from a graduated senior to help the younger, newer freshman students. All right, guys, we're going to have a really fun session today doing some question and answers, um, advice from a senior for the new students on your college experience, on studies and jobs. So we're going to cover a fun variety of topics mm -hmm. to help you, you know, start off better here as a student learning from someone else who's gone through it all together. So we're going to let these guys introduce themselves. Hey, guys, this is Malav. Uh, I graduated in May 2018. Uh, I did my master's in IT management from Navin Jinal School of Management from uh, in UT Dallas. Hi, everyone. My name is Bashar. And and I'm a new student, I just arrived here a couple of months back and I'm pursuing my master's in the field of computer science at Eric Johnson. Awesome. So Malav, welcome back. I know you're working in Colorado, so welcome yep. back to Dallas. Yeah, no always, always feels good to back in Dallas. I just hate the heat. That's yeah, it. it's hot here. <laughs> Colorado has awesome weather. Oh yeah, oh, awesome I weather. still want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, you've been here in the US, what, hmm. two, three months now? Yeah, yeah. I arrived here in the, in, in the end of July, at the end of July, yeah. So how's your experience been so far? Oh, Rob, it's been incredible. Like, everything has been so new for me. It's a new country, new people. I'm, mm -hmm. So there are a lot of Indians, but mm -hmm. I've been trying to get out of my circle and meet as many new people as possible. Because while I'm trying to up my skill set as well, I want to have a new experience culturally mm -hmm. as well. So I'm trying to meet as many new people as possible, trying to get involved in activities. And it's been so much fun. Classes have been fun. It's it's a different method it's of teaching. It's a totally, different style of teaching. It's yeah. totally, totally totally yeah. totally different than what we used to study yeah. in India. I have failed in India. <laughs> I have failed in India in my undergrad and you know over here failing is difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Believe me it's difficult because they engrave something in your brain which you won't forget. I still know case studies which I took uh, for from a class which I took in spring 2017. Yeah. It's been more than a year and you know I remember the solutions to it. I remember the whole case study of the of the company and you know it's mm -hmm. totally different than India. Definitely. So let's go ahead and ask some questions that will be helpful to the new students yes. and learn from the experience of someone who's already been there. Yep. Malav, your first semester, it was fall 2016. Mm -hmm. What's maybe one of the mistakes you made that first semester that you would go back and do differently and you know give the advice to help the new students prevent doing that mistake? One huge mistake what I did was I never used to prepare before the class. So if Explain there is a, that. Yes. So if there is a class, so I took up uh, business analytics with R. It was totally uh, kind of coding, it was kind of technical, it was managerial as well. So I never used to prepare anything for uh, the class, before the class, you know, I always used to go to the first class, I did not understand anything, I was like, this is not gonna happen. Second, third, fourth, I ended, and uh, after midterms, I, I was quite, you know, you should understand what's going on over here, you should understand the importance of mm -hmm. uh, studying over here. So I started preparing before the class. Mm -hmm. That is one thing which I would, you know, go back to fall 16 and you know do it that's, yeah. that's great advice i can i can see how it would help so much because you're not just studying the concept once then even though they try to make time for you not everyone has the courage to stand up and ask questions so that way when when you prepare before the class you're just basically revising when you're in the class definitely. so i can definitely see how it could it helped really during help uh, other semesters for sure any any questions you got Bashar? like i was telling you the purpose of coming here is not just to up your skill set you want to have a different cultural experience mm -hmm. as well and what i've seen is with a lot of Indians, is we tend to stick in our own circles. I call it the Desi bubble. Oh, yeah. yes. And it is kind of disheartening, right? How was it for you and what would you do to change that? Good question, actually. I was in the Desi bubble for the two years, but you know, there was one point of time during spring semester when, you know, we had to make groups and I was quite shy to, you know, talk up to people. So, and there were, you know, one or two Indians in the class. I was like, this is not going to happen. You'll have to go out of your bubble. So I went out, you know, my whole group, we had one uh, Pakistani, one Indian, one uh, Iranian, uh, one white and uh, six person, I don't know the ethnicity, but yeah. So we had a mixed cultural diverse, diverse, diverse group. group. Yeah. And you know, that project was really happening. You know, people were talking about their marriage, you know, experiences back in their country. So it was good to learn those kind of uh, stuff. So I guess what you're saying is a project group is a really good opportunity to Definitely. Uh, socialize with a different group of people. So if you are an international student, don't, uh, you know, just try and mix well with other people, other cultural uh, groups and everything. We, every college has uh, mixed uh, cultural activities and everything. So, you know, you, you get to learn, you get to enjoy, you get to meet new people and understand their cultures. <laughs> it's really interesting. 
one thing I've seen here is people are incredibly nice. Oh yeah. The thing is, so every day when I get on the bus, the driver always greets me, saying good morning. And that's not that's something which I was not used to in India. <laughs> and, uh, and to be honest, even though it's just a token thing to say, it starts your day off on such a good note. Like it just puts you in a good mood. People being so nice here is the reason you should go and take the initiative to talk to other people because they're gonna be receptive. They will, you know, uh, reciprocate. They will also say hi to you, talk to you, and the, the, that's I think the reason we the first we just fail at the first. Episode. We don't go ahead and talk to other people, mm. and that is something we need to change. Yeah, at Giant Coaching, we're all about building bridges and fostering community cross culture. Yes, and I love that you guys are talking about that because, yeah, why would you want to travel across the world, spend so much money, and only be with your type of people? It's a great thing, yeah. but meet some new people too. Definitely, exactly. definitely. Take advantage of the awesome opportunity you have mm -hmm. here, and I think yeah, when you do, you get to really enjoy and benefit from it. Yeah. For sure. Malav, maybe what was your biggest surprise studying in America as a master's student? Maybe something you didn't expect? Or kind of a surprise or that caught you off guard? Oh. Attendance was not uh, mandatory for all classes, so every professor uh, had a different way of counting how many people are there and who all are there. So there was one of my favorite uh, professors, Kutsal uh, Dohan, uh, he he taught me data management, the basic core concept of business intelligence. So, you know, he had this thing in his class, he used to, uh, you know, project a question on the uh, board and he used to ask us, email that, email the answer to me. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's a unique way. And you know, I did attend all of his classes, but you know, it was quite difficult for me to, you know, not having that kind of a rule because I'm from India and you know, my university, Nirma University, if people know about it, um, we had 85% of our attendance. And if we, did, if we did not attend, like if we did not have attendance more than, 80, uh, more than 85, we used to, we were punished to write three hour long papers. Hmm. That's a good habit. Uh, and you know, it was really amazing over here. And we can eat in the class, so it was different. I, I was I was really happy. I, I, I'm a foodie, so you know. <laughs> Bring your lunch or snack or... Oh yeah, but when I was attending seven to 10 lectures during the break, I used to start eating and you know, I, I was not able to finish my dinner by uh, the class started, but I used to keep eating. <laughs> no one minded. That is something which I've also noticed. The classroom experience is really different here. Uh, here that the professors are like your peers. They are not, you know, someone who is above you. Definitely. Like in India, I'd seen the story where a kid was using their phone and the professor was pissed about it and they threw their phone. And see, I get I get why it could be frustrating for a professor, but mm -hmm. that's not their domain. Like they are not supposed to do that. They could just send ask the kid to get out of the class and that's Definitely. that should be it. But here the professor understands that that the students are their peers and they treat us like that. And you know, regarding the uh, attendance policy, our uh, machine learning professor has a similar thing. He has participation quizzes in class. Oh, yeah. And uh, since you have to be connected to Comet Net, Net for that, so mm -hmm. you, you know for sure that no one from home can just, you know, log in and yeah. uh, participate in the quiz. So that's his way of it, It's good that we are making, we are, we are happy about that, but you know, it's really important to attend uh, the classes because that is something where you get the education. Like then, if you want to go beyond your uh, capabilities, you can do it at home. And not just that, I mean, we are paying 3000 more than $3,000 for a course and that's not just for us to sit in class. You guys are paying so much money use that money make use of that money yeah, yeah it's an investment yes yep. all right Malav, what was maybe the thing you missed the most from back home while you were studying here in America I miss my parents for I, sure. miss food. I miss food already <laughs> so I have this thing about a uh, food like uh, you know I'm a vegetarian so it was quite difficult for me in the starting but uh, you know I have this uh, philosophy that you know you took the decision to come abroad hmm. You took it. No one forced you. Mm -hmm. Even if your parents forced you, but you agreed to it. You, if you did not want to come, you would have said no. So I said, if I'm having any other difficulties after coming to US, mm -hmm. it's going to be on me. I'm going to be solely the only person responsible for this kind of responsibilities. If I'm, if I feel sad, if I feel hey, I want to go back to India, you know, it's on me. You cannot blame that uh, you sent me over here or anything like that. So about the food. I gave up the thinking that I want Indian food. 
And that thing led me. I love Mexican food right now. Oh. I love me some good tacos. <laughs> I oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I love Mexican food more than Indian food right now, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Can you get good Tex-Mex in Colorado? We do have. Okay. We do have. We have tortillas tacos, so I can manage with that. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And one more thing. Rob is doing a superb job over here. Thanks. Yeah, I agree. Come I on, agree. man. Yeah. For for an American to help Indian people, international students, for this kind of uh, it takes a quite a lot of interest in us. So you know. It's, yeah, you should be great. So Definitely, so I, much effort. you should so go good. and follow Chain Coaching. Share this video. You know, it might help someone else. It might help Rob. I don't know. He can land some good customers, huh? <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. Yeah, we'll have all that information down below in the description. Definitely. Please subscribe, like, connect, continue the conversation. Get connected with these guys. Connect with others, and let's help international students be successful here in America. Yep. Right. Thank you. Awesome. awesome. Thanks for thank joining us, so guys. Much. We'll see you next time. Bye. -bye. Cheers.